Let's see if we can get this one here. Right, we're shooting with the uh, A7R4 with the 24105 on today. I've got the 14mm wide angle semi in the bag as well. Let's wait for this butterfly to take off. Hey guys, in the distance there you can see Scotney Castle, which is a small little castle stroke house. It's on its own little moat there, which we're going to go down to in a minute and uh, get some shots. I was trying to get a butterfly taken off, but he's literally just having the biggest dinner ever, so I'm going to leave it to it and uh, see if we can find some colourful trees. There's one over there in the distance. Let's have a little walk around and uh, see what else we can get. Let's say we're using the uh, a7 R Mark IV with the 24 to 105 G lens on. Got the 14 mm semi Yang with me as well for some wide angle stuff. Back on the GoPro. And uh, get some shots. So we've got a bit of colour here. Sure, it's quite cool. The wind's picked up a little bit, it was completely out of the still earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around and see if we can get some uh, reflection shots before it picks up any more. As you can see the, the clouds in the sky are actually causing, even though it looks quite good on the GoPro, uh, it's quite a dull day. So utilising the f-stops and obviously ISO up to 1000 a couple of times, uh, even slightly higher just to be able to uh, get the depth um, sort of f8 and stuff like that so all right so a little wander around yeah the wind's definitely picking up which is always nice not a little bit of uh, ripplage on the water. Doesn't help we got ducks though. Yeah. Water's lovely and clear though. Sleepy ducks. It's, uh, Good move putting the GoPro on top of the camera actually. So what I've done is stuck a mount on my uh, wireless trigger. Which also means I can stick it on uh, the tripod with the flash gun or whatever. And the sun's gone. Yeah, and there goes the ripples. It's annoying. Boathouse over there. There's a lot of duckweed on the uh, the pond though. But I tell you what, this 24 to 105 is actually really good for this sort of thing. Not a bad zoom, but obviously you've got 60 megapixels to play with. So you know that's going to help. Yeah, look at that. All that duckweed. How annoying. Never mind.
When we're doing shots like this, you're shooting at sort of f8, f10 anyway. So pretty much any lens is going to be quite good. So it's still warm, it's dry, and uh, unfortunately the sky is rubbish, like a sunshine, but we'll make do, we'll take some pictures. Uh, let's head towards the castle now, anyway, I've done a bit of a loop round. I'll try and get some uh, detailed shots of some sort, this stuff's always good. It reminds me of the BFG, if you remember the old BFG, not the um, new one, but used to have this stuff that was, uh, I don't know what it's called, snizzle cumbers or something. Just reminds me of this stuff. This will be the last of the flowers, anyway. This is how close the uh, 24 to 105 can focus. A bit more depth, actually. of light unfortunately. Uh, we can go that close. There's a bug in there. Spider. Oh no it's an ant. So that's quite cool. At 105 mil, quite close. Managed to get an ant. So, let's go have a look in there. This is quite cool. What's that? Oh. Colours are changing nicely. This tree right in front goes bright red, which is starting to go. It's raining. Here comes the rain. It's a big ass tree. Dragonfly buzzing around. Where's he? There we go. Hey, back. Um, 
Um, that's ridiculous. Um, okay. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's locking onto that dragonfly. Not sure you can see it in the video. But, um, we got it anyway. It was instantly locking on to dragonfly in the air, flying around. Like tracking it with one, even one dot. Um, very impressed with that. A7R3 could not do that at all. Not do that one bit. Um, I've seen more dragonflies this year than ever. Ever before. Um, the light has really, really got bad. Um, it's got very dull. I think it's going to chuck it down with rain a bit there. So as the weather was starting to threaten a bit I decided to walk back up to the main house and uh, spotted this underneath uh, one of the trees there so shot that F4 um, at 105mm so it just shows you the bokeh is pretty nice. Yeah, so it's trying to rain. Well it is raining but not anything major. It's definitely the last of the flowers though. It's one thing on the A7R4, that's the rear dial is more dampened than the front one. The front one's quite clicky, back one's not. I love decay, it's like natural decay. This looks interesting. As you know, Taking lots of pictures as you walk around can actually, it gives you an opportunity to sort of practice and everything. But uh, this shot I really like, um, really moody. It's an old swimming pool, I believe. It was very square, but uh, it worked quite well in the shots and uh, just shows a bit of detail and rustic sort of uh, look there in the black and white. There's a butterfly here actually eating um, fruit. I'm not sure you can see that, guys. Coming from under here. Garden's awesome. So apparently, best time to come is the end of summer. There's a fucking blue tit up there. Just got him, I think. Or yeah. Uh... Yep. Focusing on this thing's nuts. Literally, boom, straight on the bird. <laughs> um, a blue, uh, blue tit, rather. Battery's about to run out on the GoPro and the A7R4, but I only turned up with 40% battery power on the uh, A7R4, and it's lasted bloody well. Oh, there's some raspberries and stuff here. So, guys, you can see uh, a few shots here um, that I didn't post in the video. Um, yeah, basically, the battery. On just under half power, did 694 shots um, with the camera on for about three hours, wandering around, turning it on and off occasionally. Um, as you can see here, the light wasn't all that great, as you could see through the video, um, but the camera still performed well, even with an f/4 lens. 
it was fine. I had to turn the ISO up a couple of times just to get the right um, right exposure due to some of the shots being under heavy, heavily shaded trees and things like that. But as you can see here, some of the shots look pretty cool. Um, nothing too too amazing to shout out about, but the colours look pretty good. Uh, the sharpness is awesome. Um, details there. Uh, this shot here I could have done with a bit more depth, uh, really, but it kind of worked. A lot of these are just snaps, you know, just wandering around, just taking in the uh, the scenery, really. Uh, Scotney Castle should be really good in about another two weeks, I'm hoping, uh, whereas the autumn colours really start to appear. Um, but still got some okay shots there. I'm pretty pleased with uh, what I managed to capture, considering it rained a couple of times quite heavily, and uh, you know that. So uh, the sun tried to come out, as you can see the reflection in this uh, in the water there. Uh, there was a little um, little bug or something bouncing around, causing those ripples. So pretty pleased with how the uh, 24 to 105 uh, G lens uh, performs. Um, I've had it quite a while now, and I've had it on the A7R3 for. Uh, quite a good while and it's a really really good lens to have in your bag because uh, it's got actually quite a decent range so 24 to 105 actually gives you quite a bit more um, zoom zooming ability than say the 24 to 70 uh, yeah it's not a, not an f2.8 through the range but to be honest it's not the end of the world um, with the ISO capabilities of the cameras now and also having f4 um, generally gives you a slightly better depth most of the time where a lot of people are sort of uh, tempted to go f2.8 and uh, you actually end up having worse shots because obviously the depth is too shallow so having f4 as a minimum sometimes actually uh, can give you better shots with a little bit of ease um, lens is sharp uh, no issues whatsoever there and uh, it focuses very quickly the eye auto focus is working on some ducks uh, on, on the uh, the ducks on the, um, the pond or the moat uh, a couple of times I haven't put all the photos up because um, you'd be here for quite a while some were just a bit boring um, some the lighting just looked flat unfortunately and it just I could have done with it for a flash gun or, or an LED uh, panel light with me but um, it's more the fact I was just out for a walk and uh, decided to uh, pop down and have a little stroll around and just snap away and still get used to the camera there's a few little settings I'm changing and tweaking uh, some of the uh, function buttons and stuff like that so it was just a case of getting like I say getting used to the camera a little bit more um, but uh, yeah, so really pleased still. Um, it's just a shame the weather wasn't all that amazing. Uh, being autumn, it should be sort of sunny, um, a little bit cooler. But um, this sort of mo uh, last month and this month, it's been quite wet and quite windy. So um, hopefully, we'll have a little bit more sunshine soon and be able to get some better shots with it. But uh, anyway, guys, um, please ask some questions. If you're looking at the A7R4 or or have or even looking at A7R3, obviously I've owned that camera for two years, this camera now obviously for a few weeks. Uh, so please feel free to ask any questions. Um, also the 24 to 105 uh, lens, G lens as well, really, really good lens. If you're thinking about that or the, say the 28 to 75 Tamron uh, f2.8 lens, Feel free. Um, I have done a video on that a while ago. The Tamron, uh, my friend Simon owns one. Uh, really, really good lens for the money. Um, but I chose the uh, 24 to 105 just for that little bit of extra range. So, there anyway, we guys. Don't forget to click the subscription button, please, and also the uh, little notification bell so you know when I've put a new video up. Okay, take care. Cheers.